Hey there, ICC family and friends. This is Nathan here coming at you with another Midday Connection. So today I want to talk about obedience. Um, this is something I, I, you know, I've loved to talk about for years, and I think it's really good to remind ourselves of on a regular basis, but obedience is kind of like this, I mean, term that we never really dive into. It's like, okay, be obedient, follow God's word, you know, follow scripture, because obedience leads to righteousness. So, um, but I want to just take a few minutes to really break down what it, biblical obedience is. So I break it down as this. There's like three types of biblical obedience. There's like love-based obedience. There's uh, fear-based obedience. And then there's duty-based obedience. So love, we'll, go, we'll do that one first. That one's really easy. It's like, picture this, like, you know, guys or, or gals, your husband or wife um, does something really nice for you. It's really easy to be like, oh, I love you. To say, I love you. Oh, thank you. I love you. And then... You're like, oh, I'm, you're kind of like inspired to do something nice for them. So then you go and you respond. You're dutiful to them in a loving way because you felt love. So you respond in love. So that's kind of like love based obedience with God. Um, is he, you know, he warms your heart like during church or whenever you're in time with him, and and um, you know, you just respond in a loving way to him and to the people around you. So um, next is like fear based obedience, which is like one that I've really had to wrap my mind around for years. And, you know, because the Old Testament's like, fear God, fear God, fear God. And I was like, well, I really don't fear him. I just love him, you know. But then I read this verse, Hebrews 10, 26 says, um, for if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there are there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Verse 27 then says, but a fearful expectation of judgment. So then I was like, oh, okay. So basically, I'm going to be dutiful and obedient to you, God, or I'm going to be obedient to you, God, um, out of fear of not, like out of your judgment and out of you fighting against me. Because if you are intentionally maliciously sinning and, you know, God can't bless you, he can't bless that which is against him. So I'm going to be obedient to God out of fear of not, <laughs> like, of, like what would happen if I wasn't? So, um, <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like certain husbands, like, you're not going to do certain things to your wife out of fear of what, of her response. <laughs> so, uh, last one real quick here is um, duty-based obedience, which is the one we probably all need to work on the most right now. Like, what's happening is, like, we're we're not in church, getting fired up by Trevor. I mean, it's, it's great we're doing the online thing, but it, it is hard when you're not there and you're feeling the vibrations, the worship, and... And you're just there, you know, listening to Trevor, you know, in that atmosphere. And so it, it, it can be difficult to get fired up. And we often are like, well, I just don't feel it right now. But that's when you need to be, you know, have that duty-based obedience of, I don't feel it, but that doesn't drown out the conviction of his presence. And we need to remember that, like, he'll never leave us for, or forsake us. So he's here, whether you whether you feel it or not. And we need to respond you know, in obedience to him in those times. So, you know, like, like an example for me, you know, I've talked about this, you know, in, in the past, where like with Christine, she, we're sitting down on the couch and she puts her foot in my lap and I'm just like, it's, it's not in my soul to be like, oh yeah, there's a foot. I can't wait to like massage her foot. You know, like it, it, it takes like me being like, no, Nathan, like, I know you don't want to, but that would really bless her. And that would show God's love to her. So my thing right now is like, maybe if you're not feeling the presence of God right now, and maybe you're not feeling maybe even a lot of love from your family, like what can you do to step up in obedience to your family, to God, and show them the love of Christ even when you don't feel it? So that's my challenge to you guys today. Um, I just think it's really good for us to step up. Uh, faith doesn't come naturally. It is a natural tendency of mankind to fall away from Christ. It takes an intentional effort for us to build relationship with Christ and relationship with our families. So what can you do to step up today, guys? Thank you.